Six new developments in the Blodgett Peak fire. Officials searching for the person behind the abandoned illegal campfire they believe sparked the flames there. Crews are still working to contain the fire, bringing in specialized resources to help out. Cardio News Channel 13, Spencer Soisher is there now. And Spencer, it looks like the smoke has calmed down from what we were seeing just a few days ago. Yeah, Barton Heather, and I just got some good news from the U.S. Forest Service. This fire is now 75% contained. It feels like a big tragedy being averted, but for neighbors who live around here, they're not surprised at all at how it started. The weather is cooperating Monday, meaning fire crews can now get a better read on the Blodgett Peak fire and dump buckets on heat signatures. But for some, it's a sight all too familiar, bringing back memories of the Waldo Canyon fire. We were actually out of town and came back early when we heard there was a fire on Blodgett Peak because it's literally in our backyard. I mean, it's that's half a mile. Jeff Scharf isn't the least bit surprised that this was started by an abandoned illegal campfire. <laughs> he says there's always been people here after the park closes at 9 p.m. It just attracts a lot of folks, and there's just a lot of shenanigans going on here at night. The Forest Service says neighbors have been telling them all week about people not playing by the rules in this area. Campfires are not permitted in the park, nor are they permitted on the Waldo Canyon scar. But campfires have become an increasing problem with people, numbers of people using this area. Pushing 10 years later, nobody has been charged for starting the Waldo Canyon fire. Scharf doesn't think the person behind this will be caught either. But he's confident if the rules don't start getting in force, this won't be the last man-made fire at Blodgett Peak. I'm absolutely positive it's not the last time because, again, you, get, you only have to walk about 100 yards into this place and you'll see fire rings. It just attracts, you know, people think that it's dark, you can't be seen, it's a good place to be, um, but it's not. Now, again, that latest update that we just got, this fire is now 75% contained. And again, they're still looking for the person who may be responsible. If you have any information, you're supposed to call the U.S. Forest Service. For now, reporting live at Blodgett Peak, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Spencer, thanks. And now